is um, our final guest of the evening. And they say that the last shall be first. So I'm sure that he'll be first in heaven because it says that in the Bible, right? So oh. Oh, is that <laughs> even Robbie? though he's our last guest. No <laughs> yeah, oh, is, is that we've Robbie? got Robbie Paul coming. <laughs> yeah, because um, you know, Robbie Paul, I, I think his ears might have been ringing the other day because we were talking about him. Yeah. So that guy, that guy, he he gets heart surgery and he's out he's out do, leading worship the next day. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, both crazy they've together, done really huh? Good at that <laughs> yeah, and and uh, that's funny because I was I was I was laid up in, in the hospital. A couple of a couple of the guys from the church come and showed up and said said Hey, what are you doing doing lazing around like that, man? You don't get no time off. <laughs> and then and then red 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 mentioned Robbie and I I was like I was like well you know those other guys can come around and tease me like that but if Robbie actually showed up it, it might have some meaning behind it <laughs> <laughs> you know because um, he's the real trooper it appearances sometimes can be deceiving <laughs> But um, one thing that you you just mentioned um, was was a subject that came up at our Bible study just this last Wednesday, and that is when when you go to church or you go to Bible study, God has a personal message directly for you. It might not be the same as the next person's, but somewhere in that time there is something that was meant for you and you'll know it when you hear it you know what i mean i mean yeah everybody i mean just even tonight i mean there was something that god wanted me to hear you know, and it, it might not be the same for the next person. They, it's another message, but everybody will always have something that God wants them to hear. So next Amen. time you go to Bible study or church, pay attention. Now you might miss it. <laughs> so true. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I didn't properly introduce you, so I'll just do that. You you have the shortest bio anyways. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're a man of few words, I take it. <laughs> All right. He's a professional musician specializing in mellow, relaxing jazz, blues, and contemporary Christian guitar, vocals, and keyboard. He creates original compositions and arrangements. Please welcome everybody, our final guest of the evening. Robbie Paul. Thank you. I mean, um, yeah, my ministry is is my life. I mean, I, I usually is like going out in front of a food for less or something like that, and then just singing to the people coming in and out. And um, sometimes it can be frustrating because it doesn't seem like anything's being done. I mean. You see people mocking you. They'll, they'll laugh and giggle. Hey, look at this guy singing Mr. Christian over here. And almost every day, somebody will pretend to put money in my tip jar, but they're not putting anything in there. They're just faking it. Why they do that, I don't know. Um, but I remember talking to my pastor, and he says, really? If I saw somebody doing that, I'd call them out. You know, it's tempting to, you know, sometimes you say something, oh, yeah, th thanks for the big major tip there, you know. Um, but you don't do that. I mean, that's not what God wants me to do. He wants me to humble myself. And it's an exercise every time to, to go out there and, you know, humble myself, not say anything to, the, to these people, not antagonizing them any more than they already are for whatever reason they've done the, what they've done that's between them and God and like I said sometimes it gets frustrating but then there's other times 
um, I remember I was at an auto parts store and I was waiting in line and there was a woman in front of me. She looked around and looked at me and she goes, I know you from someplace. Yeah? Do you, do you play guitar? I said, yes. You buy the food for less, huh? And I said, yeah. She said, you know, a couple of years ago, I was sitting in my car and I was listening and I started to cry. And I knew at that point I needed to make some changes in my life. And she came to Jesus. Oh, and she 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 gave Ooh. me this testimony <laughs> right there in the auto parts store staying in line. And, I was, and then she says, you know, I wish I had something I could give you. I said, hey, what are you talking about? You just gave me more than any money could ever buy. You know, you gave me confirmation that this is what God wants me to do. That this, this, you know, I don't always see what's going on. You know, it's sowing the seeds. This is what we were talking about earlier. You know, you sow the seeds mm -hmm. and you don't always see them grow. You don't, you know, the ones that fall on good ground, you don't always see that. You just keep going. But every now and then, you get you, something will, you know, I needed to hear that at that time. You know, because sometimes, like I said, it can get frustrating and you start to wonder, am I doing, is this what God wants me to do? Yeah. And there was the answer right there. I mean, okay, this is, this is going to keep me going for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? That's I mean, good. This, this is gonna yeah. keep me going yeah. for a while. I mean, that 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 testimony was something else, you know. And um, I just have to remind myself of that now and then. That you know, I am doing that's what true. God wants me to do, and to keep sowing the seed, to keep spreading His word um, through song, through whatever, and through example. That's so powerful. That was that you, someone was just talking earlier about the person that, you know, shared the message with all the people. And, and then it was at his funeral that they all finally came, but they never did when, when he was alive. Was that you or no, that was, who was uh, sharing I think, that? I think that was Rob, the other Rob. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I mean, that's what it reminds me of. It's like, sometimes you just don't see that you're making any difference that, you know, and that is just such an, that's like your story just now. It's just, God gave you a little gift to give you that vision of seeing that, yeah, you, you, you need to keep doing this. Sometimes he knows that we're about ready to like, yes. look, God, I, I need some kind of a sign. <laughs> I'm exactly. like, yeah, and that is so encouraging. Does. You know, he, he communicates with us. I mean, people think that conversation, communication with God is a one way street. They pray it's over. They get no answer. You have mm -hmm. to listen for it because there is, he will answer your mm -hmm. prayers. He will, he will communicate with you sometimes loud and clear. Yeah. That is a good message. Hmm. Okay. I think God's been speaking tonight for sure. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. He always does. <clears throat> I guess I'll, I'll start here. Yeah, I was talking earlier today with a friend because um, my the best man at my wedding, he worked at the bank and he was a security guard over there. And it seemed like he knew he knew a lot of people. Everywhere we went, people recognized him. His name was Louie. And uh, he, he, he was... He, he was a guy that kept trying to invite people to church. And and uh, every once in a while, he'd come around to me telling me, hey, Casey, you know, I invite those people to go to church, but they never go. Yeah, it was you that told the story. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. I knew I heard that story. Well, anyways, yep. when, when, he had his, when he had his funeral at the church, that place was packed. And and there there was one guy got up there and he says, Louis Louis's been telling me to come to church all these years, and I never came in. And now now that that he's gone, here I am. No, 
He's like, oh, I just wish I had come earlier like he told me to. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. He he didn't see it, but but I'm I'm glad we got to see that. I think, well, if he was with God, he saw it. <laughs> Anyway, this is a, a fairly new song. It's not mine, I didn't write it. You, everybody's probably heard this before. You give life, you are love. Bring light to the darkness. You give hope. You restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. Pour out our praise, it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. You give life, you are love. You bring light to the darkness. Give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise, pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise to you only it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise pour out our praise it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise to you only Song and Elizabeth, 
just said uh, she loves this, especially the chorus, because it's a timely song that is needed and it's timely for what is going on tonight with everything God provides us. Thanks, Elizabeth. That's so true. Thank you. And Stones of Eden just popped in and said such beautiful words. I couldn't help but sing along. I was singing along, too. <laughs> Thank you I for just sharing that. that. The speed of light would change because then we'd be able to have multiple people singing at the same uh, time. Computer lag. And right. Just the speed of light itself. You know, like I hear you. You take a, a telephone, call somebody that's standing right next to you, and you can hear this delay of about a half a second as the signal bounces back and forth to about satellites two I know. or three times. <laughs> Man, that's probably going to be the next thing that comes, but that'll be awesome for all of us that are worshiping because we're going to enjoy that that new technology. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll see it in my lifetime. But <laughs> cool. uh, I just did read something recently about, you know, quantum physics and all of that kind of stuff, which is like just these crazy kind of idea stuff. Um, that they say that, that through theory, they've discovered a way that time can hiccup and repeat itself. Ooh. <laughs> crazy. I I just, that's like beyond <laughs> me, but. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> Stephen Hawking and, <laughs> oh, yeah, and friends. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> this this song speaks to me a lot. This is um, this one came out by Green Day. Uh, not through uh, um, Third Day. <laughs> Everyone who's lost someone they love long before it was their time. I feel the days you had were not enough when you said goodbye. And to all of the people with burdens and pains keeping you back from your life, you believe that there's nothing and there is no one. Who could make it right There is hope for the helpless Rest for the weary And love for the broken heart There is grace and forgiveness Mercy and healing He'll meet you wherever you are Cry out to Jesus Cry out to Jesus struggling just to hang on they lost all of their faith in love they've done all they can to make it right again still it's not enough and for all those who battle with the addictions and chains you try to give up but you come back again just remember that you're not alone your shame and your suffering there is hope for the helpless rest for the weary and love for the broken heart there is grace and forgiveness mercy and healing he'll meet you wherever you are cry out to Like the whole world is falling on you Just reach out and Just cry out to Jesus Cry to Jesus For the widow who suffers from being alone Wiping the tears from her eyes For the children around the world without a home Say a prayer tonight There is 
There's hope for the helpless, rest for the weary, love for the broken heart. There is grace and forgiveness, mercy and healing. He'll meet you wherever you are. There is hope for the helpless, rest for the weary, and love for the broken heart. There is grace and forgiveness, mercy and healing. He'll meet you wherever you are. Cry out to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus. Mm, we're all singing along for sure. Well, third day kind of leaves that hanging at the end. I have to give it one more <laughs> chord to give us some kind of <laughs> completion. I don't know what the word is. It's like a, you got to give it finality or whatever. Yeah, I yeah. got you. <laughs> we know what you mean. <clears throat> Make it feel like it ended somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Elizabeth just uh, shared a, ch a in the chat. She shared a prayer. Elizabeth, do you want to? Hop on and, and, and pray that. So what I said was, God, give us a spirit of hope this night. Help us not to fear because we know we have faith over fear and faith triumphs over fear. Help us all this night to give the strength we need for tonight to do the things we do for tomorrow. And thank you, God, for blessing us this night. Beautiful. Amen. Thank you, Elizabeth. How about something a little bit more upbeat? Yeah, let's hear it. Okay. This is a, a, <laughs> actually a Mercy Me song. Um, but I kind of Americanized it a little bit. Is that guitar too loud? It's no. Not, no, not, not at all. Loud. Okay. I've been the one to shake with fear Wondering if you're even here I've been the one to doubt your love I told myself you're not enough Than the one to try and say I'll overcome by my own strength. I've been the one to fall apart and start to question who you are. You're the one who conquers giants, you're the one who calls up kings. You shut the mouth. orphan's hand you are the one messiah you are i am you are i am i've been the one held down in chains beneath the weight of all my shame I've been the one to believe that where I am, you cannot reach. You're the one who conquers giants. You're the one that calls out kings. You shut the mouths of lions and you tell the dead to breathe. You're the one who walks through fire. You take the orphan's hand. You are the one Messiah. You are I am. You 
R-I-M The veil is torn And now I live With the spirit inside The same one The very same Brought the sun back to life. Hallelujah, He lives in me. Hallelujah, He lives in me. Hallelujah, He lives in me. You are, I am. Hallelujah, He lives in me. You're the one who conquers giants. One that calls out kings You shut the mouths of lions And you tell the dead to breathe You're the one who walks through fire You take the orphan's hand You are the one Messiah You are I am You are I am That was fun. <laughs> Great words. To follow up with that prayer that Elizabeth just just prayed. Totally fits. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I wasn't trying to fit it back God that did that. I know. It's always that's <laughs> always his glory. Man, he gets the glory. That's great. <clears throat> um I was kind of torn. I was gonna do one that I wrote. Um but uh, there, there's another one that I like too. This is uh, it's it's kind of more, it's an obscure one. Um, I'm trying to remember the guy's name that wrote it. Even <laughs> it's that obscure. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and I don't mean to insult him by not knowing it. If he's listening, but, um, but uh, it's it's an older song, but it's one that's very beautiful and. Uh, I'll just, I'll just go into it. How's that? All right. Life is not at all that bad, my friend. If you believe in yourself, if you believe there's someone who walks in life with you, you'll never be alone. Just learn to reach out and open your heart. Just lift your hands to God and He'll show you the way. And He said, Cast your burdens upon me, those who are heavily laden. Come to me, all of you who are tired of carrying heavy loads. For the yoke that I'll give you is easy, and my burdens, they are light. Come to me. I will give you rest <clears throat> When you feel the world is tumbling down on you And you have no one, no one you can turn to Just turn your eyes to God, ask Him for strength and you feel all right just lift your hands to god through jesus christ our lord and he 
said, cast your burdens upon me, those who are heavily laden. Come to me, all of you who are tired of carrying heavy loads. For the yoke that I'll give you is easy, and my burdens, they are light. Come to me, and I will give you rest. He said, Cast your burdens upon me, those who are heavily laden. Come to me, all of you who are tired of carrying heavy loads. For the yoke that I'll give you is easy, and my burdens, they are light. Come to me, and I to me and I will give you rest hey was that I don't know how to say his name Basil Valdez that's it okay Rob Reed wins the the point for the night he googled it it. (laughs) lift up your hands (laughs) thank you Rob I was Googling it too, but I didn't find that name. I found a different song. <laughs> so you win, Rob. You win the Google contest. <laughs> that's a beautiful song. That's a that's stinging scripture right there, right? That is the way to do it. That's yeah, Matthew eleven twenty-eight 28 through 30. Beautiful. I, I asked Siri what the name of that song was, and Siri came up with nothing. Oh, <laughs> Siri doesn't know Jesus. That's why. <laughs> You know songs on, it's just not that one. <laughs> Actually, she uh, gave me another song that was not it. I'm curious if that's good. <laughs> that was not it. That's awesome. Man, this was this was a really beautiful night. I think the Lord was woven through the whole thing. Um, I just wanted to ask Red, are we do we have one more or should we wrap it up? I know we're running a little over time. Well, I know he said he wanted to sing one of his originals. Yeah, and that's what I heard. Can we have that? Can sure. we hear it? <laughs> All right, bring it on. We want to hear it. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm starting a different song. He showed us how to think. He showed us how to feel He showed us how to care He showed us how to heal He showed us to forgive Turn the other cheek To come to Him for strength we're feeling weak He showed us how to love He showed us how to love He showed us how to worship He showed us how to pray He led us out of darkness Into the light of day He showed us how to love He showed us how to love Showed us how to laugh, showed us how to cry, he showed us how to live, and he showed us how to die, he showed us how to love. 
showed us to be humble, not to live in pride. He showed us to the Father, for all our sins he died. He showed us how to love. He showed us how to love. He showed us how to laugh. Showed us how to cry. He showed us how to live. He showed us how to die. He showed us how to love. That was beautiful. Thank you. Not at all like I usually play it. <laughs> that's, that's funny. It okay. felt like it was in the moment. It felt like it was right. <laughs> it was definitely in the moment. I was I was uh, actually kind of doing the rhythm to a totally different song. <laughs> but well, you went with than it. We stop and restart it the way it was supposed to do. I just kind of. Trying to make it work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. That was beautiful, man. You just um, also, by the way, can we find you online? Yeah, I'm, I've got uh, you know Facebook and YouTube. Uh, Robbie Paul Music. Awesome, Robbie Paul. Mm -hmm. All right, so people know where to find you. Your music is beautiful. Your heart is beautiful. Um, this has been a wonderful evening. <laughs>